Hey guys, what's up? It's me Neeraj Kashyap and welcome back to Blogger Sprout. And in this video, I will guide you through the first technical preview of GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is an AI-based programming code editor that really helps you to code faster and better. And it pulls all the suggestions from the internet, uh, from Stack Overflow and other codecs, so that you can code real easily. So I hope you have already heard the name of Copilot, by the way. And it's not yet open to everyone. Uh, you have to get the uh, like uh, uh, access to it by requesting an invitation and, uh, and the queue is uh, the waitlist is like pretty long you have to wait a really long time to get the access on it and when it was launched I applied for that and I got the access uh, today and so I will take you the first look even I haven't tried how it looks so in this video I will be, I will be showing you how I got access how you can also get access of copilot and how does the copilot really works is that uh, really that simple to use or does it needs a really high uh, knowledge of programming so that you can use so let's without any further ado let's dive in into the copilot and explore how it can really help you code better in this video i'm going to show you the first technical preview of github copilot and so i have applied using my github account and just today i received the mail from the github oh, that's not the mail the mail is this and just i received today the mail from github technical pilot as you can see and here they are thrilled to welcome me so let's have a look and here is the mail that says welcome to github copilot technical preview we are thrilled to invite you to start testing github copilot your feedback will help us make it better okay and click the below link to visit github copilot documentation and install the extension the passes all the information that you need to get started okay also here is the install github copilot and visit the form and share the feedback and thanks github copilot okay so i'm also very excited to just uh, have a look on that let's click on install github copilot and by the way i am also logged in into my github account using the same email id that i am using and here is the github copilot documentation okay so let's come to the readme section github copilot welcome to the github copilot user community in this repository you will find documentation walkthrough examples and the latest source of you need for github copilot okay getting started to install github copilot check out the uh, getting started guides on visual studio jetbrains and neo vim so i use visual studio code and for a tour of github copilot visit this page i hope you have already visited the page of github copilot it's a ai pair programmers which help us to code uh, really fast and since i also own a wordpress company that uh, makes themes and plugins so it would be really helpful for us to write, write code instead of going and searching the website uh, searching stack overflow uh, googling it it would be really helpful if this code is really what it says and let's come back to the documentation and how to get help have a question or want to provide a feedback visit the forum feedback forum to ask a question box or this and chat on the preview the github copilot will team will respond as often as possible but we also welcome you to share your experience and help others in the community yes that's what we are doing by creating this video safety we take safety seriously and are constantly are working on improving github copilot if you discover dangerous biased or offensive output from github copilot please report it privately okay at copilot safety at github.com useful links github copilot homepage gallery let's look at a gallery documentation and feedback forum let's have a look at feedback code. code of conduct all the users all users of github copilot are expected to comply with the code of conduct by participating in this repository you also agree to to the same terms of service that uh, you agree when you using github.com okay and there's the license we don't need about the license and uh, there are the documentation is here there's this there's everything is there licenses there with bang gallery and let's go to the gallery first okay python comment to code uh, discovering emails in screenshot ruby and this what is this there are lots of things uh, the directory contains a few examples of github copilot in action okay most of this okay convert comment to code it's a python language okay that's a py and comments to code py view row let's have a look at this row file okay this is the first time i am actually exploring this i haven't explored this before i would uh, make anything okay so i so it's actually a video okay it's actually a video and this is the video 
okay so as for this tutorial and the video it seems really easy that um, the, uh, just you need to have a good title I think so that the title should be readable by the machine and also the comment that we are going to do and it and based on the title and the output of the comment the, uh, it will output the result and if you accept that result by hitting the tab the code will automatically be pasted on your clipboard or I think so on your code editor so okay let's go to gallery back okay we have the ruby we have the python python uh, we don't have anything for the javascript or php no problem we will discover it later let's go to the documentation we have the documentation for the jet brains visual code studio and we have also the readme let's go to the visual code studio since we have the visual code studio and here is the visual code studio for the documentation getting started and okay so before we go any further in the documentation let's go back to the gallery or oh, that's the same gallery we have up and and that's the same documentation we have clicked on that link and this is a feedback form and by the way this feedback form looks really great let's go back to the copilot and here let's get click on getting started okay getting started with the github copilot here install the visual code studio extension let's click on this okay installing the visual code studio like uh, using this visit github okay let's open the visual code studio here uh, i was already working on some project here yeah, that's a project that we are working thank you for evaluating okay uh, please push this lesson to extend it no we don't want that right now lsbn is not found let's close all the files because i don't want to make any uh, accidental edits on any of those by the way this is the framework that we use for our themes and let's go to the extensions folder and from extensions uh, okay let's make it a two window port so that we can work on both the windows at the same time okay so this is the first port and uh, this is the second window let's work parallelly to help okay so first it said okay github copilot uh, extension let's click on uh, let's close this first because we don't need this now and we don't need this too okay and click on this first github copilot extension okay click on install always do this and open the github code okay here is the copilot let's install it okay sign uh, here uh, this is what i was asking uh, saying you guys this uh, i hope you can see it here and because I was already being signed in here in using a different account of my github since we have multiple accounts based on different projects uh, this is the notification that the, uh, the notification just went away right now but that was a notification let's click on the notification button okay here is the notification sign in to access the github copilot technical preview and let's click on sign in okay th this pop-up will come the extension github copilot wants to sign in using github allow you need to allow it and you need to sign in with the same account account from where you have got your technical preview access so we are using the same account and success authorization is so successful you will be redirected and here is set you need to agree here agree and you are done guys that's it okay this is the token that was used to sign in and then the sign in was successful so let's close this and let's come here and let's click on file new file okay wow okay select a language to get started ah start uh, typing to dismiss or don't show this again mm -hmm. so i think so the copilot is already working and here it says uh, like create a new javascript file let's create a new javascript file i will say it copilot dot js and i will save it i will save it on desktop and save here so the pilot has been saved i will just remove this after removing it let's calculate uh, it says the okay function calculate day uh, uh, calculate days between date okay so let's uh, write here function okay calculate days bit win dates okay and we have to pass two parameters and you can see here uh, before uh, i was going to pass any of the parameters and uh, these are some of the things that alt plus the bracket closing second bracket closing will be next uh, previous is alt plus 
what is this uh, okay uh, bracket opening second bracket opening is previous okay and uh, tab is to accept and control enter is to open the github okay so here it the code already highlighted uh, and the parameter was the start date and the begin date so uh, it already got the start date begin date and it has four millisecond per days okay uh, 24 and this return this okay so this is one of the thing that uh, you can accept this code or if i want to have something next code i will just press on the next and here it says date one and date two the number of millisecond in one day for one day is all this convert both days to millisecond that is for date one date to millisecond okay and date two date two another millisecond calculate the difference between millisecond for this is all to maths <laughs> and it's doing the math and now it's converting back the days and returning into in one day okay this is also a cool thing let's check the next preview okay that's a really a big one with a lots of comment and you can see um uh, what does it does uh, calculate days between dates okay this this is subtract two weekends for every week okay it's also subtracting the weekends if you have got any project that subtract the weekend then it can also do that let's get to the next one and this is the first one this is the second one okay and this is the third one we have got three results okay by the way we have got three results and uh, what if we pause the parameter like be begin and we also will pause the second that is the end date okay and let's okay okay so here we have got the results okay what day one is the first day is the second day is the difference and this is a really cool one because uh, you can easily understand the feedback what is going on and let's hit the tap button wow and we got our result and we have accepted it and let's um, okay and we have already got it here copilot to chase the war is working calculate between days and let's get this let's paste the code here and we have got two dates okay and you can see here is the 366 days okay so let's calculate it from 2000 uh, 20 to 1 2021 and it should show the dates okay let's copy it and paste the code again and uh, 366 days that's it guys this is how you can easily use the copilot and this was the first time i just had my try and okay also the all choosing the alternative as i showed you if you hover your mouse uh, sorry if you hover your mouse over the results if you are typing it then it will show you some of the commands to change the code and code suggestion and here it's already given that if you press the tape button you will accept it and uh, on windows it's alt key and in mac operating system is the option and this is the second closing bracket this is for the next and the opening bracket second opening bracket is for the previous one and um, escape is something if you don't like the code okay getting more suggestions is uh, the more you code you will get the more the suggestions okay generating code from a comment okay this is the best thing that i like is that create a new javascript file and type the following find all images without altern uh, alternate text and give them a red border okay this and here is wow well, this is really really great uh, let's see if it works on a php file and i will save is at copilot dot php control s i will save it on the desktop okay i will just open the php tags okay by the way there is a closing bracket also why okay let's okay page title okay it's it's giving me some of the things uh, uh, all by itself page title copilot page description copilot include okay but i don't want that okay let's see okay and yeah the package is there package copilot but i don't want uh, package. Yeah, it's okay package copilot and uh at since this is a sense 1.0.2 okay now uh we have to comment it as okay it also gets the author 
So let's see how many uh, what other suggestions it gets. It gets the link, uh, license. Okay, few other things are okay. Uh, WordPress plugin, yes, it's a WordPress plugin. Plugin name Copilot, okay. Plugin URI. Uh, okay it's, it's already helping me to just create an entire new plugin by the way and author uri license uh, i just created the entire plugin header uh, in just like a tab and enter tab and enter github plugin version github branch requires requires ah uh, that's 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 really cool that's really cool okay okay and now file is called okay if this file is called directly about okay this is very important in php yes that's what i'm talking about guys die yeah really really cool really really cool and let's uh, let's call something let's create a sub menu okay create a admin menu page okay Let's get an add action admin menu copilot menu. Okay, uh, that should be the function right now. Okay, now I will say it function co yes copilot menu. Boom, guys! Boom! I, I, I just can't say I am so happy uh, to use this Copilot uh, because um, I, I'm not I'm not a great programmer. I, I just learn all by myself on the internet by uh, uh, watching videos, by uh, reading the blogs, the reading documentation. And uh, to be said seriously, that uh, even to create this menu, I would have to uh, have a look of the documentation or this snippet editor. Only then I could have written this code. I'm not uh, such a great programmer and i would really suggest everyone who is being a programmer or who is something learning programming they should really really use this uh plugin uh, it's really great and just within few seconds i just created this is the entire plugins header for a wordpress file so you don't need anything else to copy around and paste around you just need your own text uh, your as a comment your idea of what you want to comment and a little bit of of your creativity of you what you want to comment so that's it guys for this video i hope you have liked the copilot uh, ai suggestion and also this video so if you have really liked uh, this video and the technical preview hit that like button and also share it with your friends if your friends are also wanting to get access to the copilot and the copilot can really help us wordpress developers to code really faster although the php has not been supported fully but i have already tested a few lines of code and it does really well in that so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will meet you guys on my next video till then keep blogging keep doing what you love peace